You better like where we parked, because it's home now. The sleepers wake to an amazing view. We did it, Dad. What about your implant and Sam? I am once again helping the Pathfinder activate Remnant. Our connection has been restored to normal. Normal? You need him again? I need Sam to make it easier. I was adapting, but damage was being done. We need to be careful, Sarah. The Nexus leaders are waiting, Pathfinder. Duty calls. Better not keep them waiting. It never ends. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather... You must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time, If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angar. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Hager keeps the position, and the timeline, in the Nexus family. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. Meridian doesn't mean done. Cat are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. If you want the Pathfinder to pick a voice, I'm picking Morda. I think the Krogan have waited long enough for a seat on a council. Well, this certainly colors Meridian's opening day. Don't worry, number eight. You'll be fine. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. 
There's more to life than this. Hyperion, departed Milky Way 2185, arrived Andromeda 2819, current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. Please select a topic. Arc Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, we turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Scott Ryder spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Arc Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status, pending. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Arc Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. The transformation of Arc Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. I'm looking forward to the future, our future. This is why I'm in the initiative. Hey, Ryder. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon, imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. It's overwhelming. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You... Accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. Couldn't have done it without you and the Resistance. But mostly you. That's kind. <laughs> I'm glad I rose to meet your expectations. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshai. But more than that, 
We'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. New beginnings. That's what I came to Helios for. And what I dreamed of. Yes. <laughs> new beginnings. So, let's get to it. The last thing they... Scott, kept a seat for you in your planet. That's not getting less weird. About time Iridian got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? She'd be angry if I said anything but great. Which means... Great. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? Ha. <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? Sometimes I just stare out the window, thinking, we did it. It's hard to believe. I feel you. Just... ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. Maybe I should leave you two alone, huh? No need. We'll get time alone before too long. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Sounds like you two have a good arrangement. It's getting there. A little trust goes a long way. Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. How's things? Kid. Old man? Ha ha ha. This place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. Ha 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 ha. I sent out the Nakmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit them. Ready when you are. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much needed service. I was underfoot, apparently. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. It means a lot that you want to stick with us, Callum. Of course. And keeping my ship is a plus. The Tempest will be pristine by the time you're ready to go. Just point the way, Pathfinder. Oh, good. You're here. 
Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go, y you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, I almost forgot. The device we got out of the volcano? Gil thinks it might someday allow me to program real personality into Pockin's app. That's all I need. A robot cracking wise while I'm in a firefight. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Let's get out there, huh? Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. We still need you on the ship. I'm not giving up the Tempest, Ryder. I just also hope to be involved with the Angaran scientist. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. Heading groundside? Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. There's one thing. Dr. Lexi Tapero, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that did it. You jerk. Go on. I have a reputation to protect. Heard from the Nexus. Hey, Ryder. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? Hard. And how about the Nomad? Just once around the planet. No. Ugh, guess I'll just have fun down here. Heading groundside? No. Not much happening. Living so soon? I can't stop thinking of what I could be doing. How much is still out there? I feel the same. It's a strange type of hunger that changes galaxies. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented this role, but you defined it.
This is great and all, but it feels weird to be on a ship that isn't moving. We're explorers. There's more to see out there. Let's go find it. We're in stable orbit. Anomaly on sensors. my age. Everything's reading normal. There's snug as... Oh, hey, Ryder. Harry? What's going on here? You're telling him? Oh, can I watch? Please. Of course. Got something to show you. What's going on exactly? Just look, kid. Wait. Are those? Krogan children. My children. Live in the egg, every last one of them. Nobody else knows, Ryder. 
We're keeping this quiet after what happened with that human baby born out here. I don't know what's in store for me, but however this turns out, I'll be part of our future. And so will you. You still have a lot left to give. Guess I do. Hope. It's a scary thing. I'll fight Ryder to protect them, to give them a future. Just like he fought for me.